Now I'll come back home. What I want to show now today now, how we fit add user authentication for inside our React application. So if you look inside this application where you get for here, you just get this click button here and we get only this login button right there for here. So if you click this login, what's going to happen to say, it's supposed to log our application in and it's supposed to give us this form. This form now, if you use our Google to log in with one click as a third party login, or if you even use GitHub self, our own GitHub account, I feel also use, uh, you know, email and password. But we could just use GitHub for here. So as you click this GitHub for here, make we see what's going to happen. Make I just log in with my GitHub. Click on the load. You will see we get that small loading screen, and then we can show our application for here. We can learn how we feel use or zero to the add authentication to our application, so that if people don't log into our application, we go know. If people never log in, we go know. If you say if person never log in, then they know if you make comments and things like that. So make we see say our application see the work. So if you say hello world. And of course, you see the work. So even if I refresh the page for here now, you don't see that loading screen now. So it will always log in automatically every time until we can log out. And if you notice for here, sir, I even they get this my GitHub information. So I go show now how to add all these things for inside React. So for here. So if you now never watch the video where we build this application, make you now go watch that video because now waiting we will build on top here. So make we log out and make we. Uh, see how our application they work so we don't log out and then make we go inside github now for inside github if you come this task manager then if you want to see the finished version of this whole code with this authentication video just come here come into the branches and then you could just change the branch to authentication and this one will give you all the whole finished code where we they build for here so but if you want to start from scratch or if you want to build and you want to follow along just come the main branch and then you go click here and then uh, make we clone this repo so i did inside my terminal now and i did where we go like work the directory where i go like the run this project so make we just clone that repo so make we say git clone and then make we paste the url for the repo so just like that we go clone the repo of our previous video where we don't work on already all right so make we change directory into the uh, project and then make we install all the dependencies where we need so we we'll just say pnpm install Okay, so you don't install all our dependencies. Make we clean up. Make we open this for inside our VS Code. So we we'll just say code dot. And this go open up our VS Code for this project. Make we make sure say the project they work. So make we run pnpm dev. All right. So you can see this local host link here. I did use Windows, so press Control. Now when they use Mac, we press the Control version of Mac. But you go press Control. And then you could just click this link for here, this local host port 1573. So click on and you can see say this now our application will be built for the previous video. So so you go like come this site at zero.com. At zero now, people will be say they could just help us arrange all this login for us. We'll be saying we're not gonna build all these things from scratch. If we use them, you get paid version and you get free version. So if you use them, they do all those things. But if they're secure and the top companies, now them even self, they even use Auth0 for here. So, so nobody they say make you build your own user authentication from scratch and that now waiting will make you savvy. If you want to use this one, this one now, so you go feel build authentication quicker, faster. Now why are they use Auth0 for here? So, so make we go the pricing, make we just see what's in again for the pricing. And you they see say for the pricing, you go get uh, or zero for free for up to 7,000 active users and they feel login anyhow where they want. And also the best thing to say, you don't need your credit card to so the login. So click this sign up button and when you sign up, you go come feel login the site. For me, I go just log in since I don't already sign up. So for inside the dashboard here, make I just quickly go over what we get for you. If you want to see the docs, you feel always come here, just click the docs. It is to say it is sure say create application. We will create application very soon. But before we do that one, now here you go feed do every other thing where you want to do for inside or zero. So 
and also if you want to customize the universal form wait to be the call the universal form then at the universal form if you design and put your picture all those things now here you're going to do all those things if you set your email template all these things if you do but this video not be uh we're not going to go into all these kind of things we're just i just want to show now how now if you quickly add authentication to your application now when you click this application as you see say i get different applications so we could just create a new application so since we did use react to build the application make we give this our own name say taskman so this taskman app since now react make we click react and then click create once you click create it will take time to create just wait and it will start correct so now if you even come the quick start guide and if you select any of these ones where you want but we're not going to do like that here what you want to do is say we won't come here into the settings and for inside the settings now here where we go can take all the information where we need so for here you they see say we get this domain name and you they see say we get this client id we're going to need those two information so we're going to copy them save them for inside our code so we could go into our vs code and for inside my vs code uh, make we add a new file then make we call this file dot env this will be our environment file where we will install our environment variable since we use v as our bundler you will need to type in bit underscore and then you go type in the name where you want to call these values so make we just call them or zero underscore domain and then make we give them the value where we see for a zero website so so i can just copy this domain here and i go paste down here make we duplicate the code and then make we change this domain to client id and then make we copy the client id and make we paste them for inside our environment variable then press save and we're going to protect these values we're not going to share them with anybody we're not going to upload this code even self so make we stop this file from uploading into github so you go come inside here into your git ignore and then for inside here you could just for the bottom just add dot env inside here in small letter sorry and press save so always keep this dot env file private no they share with anybody they only put your values and uh, only share with people where you support share with so close down and close this one so as you don't set those values for there make we go back inside or zero and then make we start to the add the values where we where we supposed to add for zero so if you add a description here and if you add a logo for here if you want i don't put my image here or logo where i want for here and then allowed callback url once the user don't authenticate in site or you don't agree or you don't log in successfully now there the thing or zero now we can redirect the user back to that site or this callback url where we want to put so make we put the callback url to our application if you look inside the browser here you can see say the url now 5173 then at this local host 5173 so if you copy this code and then if you go back into your odd zero and then we fit paste them in or even better if you just use the port 3000 and then for the logout, make we go to this local 3000 for the logout. The logout URL now, the URL where we say whenever you will click logout, now here you won't make it carry us go. And also for the allow web origin, now from here where you want to allow the logins they come from, that kind of thing. If you they use commas, also they separate them. So if you say this one go to come from a certain URL, so if you say from here, and then if you also say or you're going to come from this one here, I feel about like this, and then don't forget to just scroll down to the bottoms always click save so make we test say uh, our authentication don't it work make we stop this process first and then make we just add odd zero uh react one so you could just say pnpn add and then we'll add the package where we want which now add odd zero slash odd zero dash react now the react version of odd zero be this and we don't install them in just seven seconds so make a cleaner make we go back Start our server again, pnpm run dev. And uh, as our server done the run for this port, make we go back. I go like make we change the config. So make we come inside here. So for inside this vit config.js file, what you want to do is say we want to change the port configs. Because remember, if you check our or zero settings, you go see say we don't put the um, ports to three three thousand. That's not because now what we want to do. So for here now, if you try run this code, it go break. So always they check this port. See say not the same thing where they get, or at least you add them to the list. Do I take Adam? Go back into VS Code. Then for inside VS Code, we could just say for inside your bit config.js, make we change the server. 
and this server if they take in an object i will set the object if they also take in a sorry not proxy but port so we'll set the port to any port number where we want in our case now we want to set them to 3000 so if i save them it's supposed to change this port number for me this 5173 so make we change them and if i press save my dev server don't restart with this new port so make we go back into our application you know we work so make we change them as we don't set them to 3000 our application don't they work the way we expect so now we don't set up or zero so as we don't install the package set up everything where we want change the port so you will come into your src then come into this main.jsx and inside this main.jsx what you want to do we say you want import or zero into RAM. like we import or zero so for inside here so we want to import the odd zero provider so what you want to be saying we want to use the auth provider component wrap this our app component so make it do like that so our app the inside the odd zero provider component but if we try to use odd zero now it no go work until we add some kind of props so the props where we need now those information will be saved for the .env file so the information what we need now the domain make we say you need import dot meta dot env and then now if we put a dot and the name of the environment variable so we just paste that domain name and then make we add the client id props and the client id props it just be like the same so i will just copy out so paste that here and everything suppose no set for you for this so make a test say this or zero they really work you could just need call our app component we want import, but just like before, we want import from Auth0. The next one we're gonna need now the use Auth0 hook. The use Auth0 hook, now hook will say you get everything where we go need to the work with. As we don't import this use Auth0 hook, you'll come into our application just underneath this uh, altar state hook where we built for the previous video. If you never watched that video, go watch that video, you then go understand what we do for here. So. So you will come here, you can say const and object one the structure. And then here we'll come say, okay, we'll go expose different useful information for us. So what you want to use for here now the user. Okay. And this will give us every information what we need. The other helper we need now the is authenticated. So is authenticated now within the B, it will return true or it could return false. If the user know they logged in, or if they logged in, it could return true. All right. And then finally, make we just add a loading state. So we'll say loading. One just console log. So make we console log the value. One console log is authenticated. And make we check, say, this is authenticated. It works. So close this one. Close this config even save. And I don't think, say, we could even work for here. So open the dev tool. And for inside the dev tool, you could see, say, our console log, they give us false. That means, say, we never log into the application. Make we go back into the code. Make make we close this main.jsx. Make we start to add the components where we go you need to the um, um, login and to the logout. So for inside here, inside the component folder, make we just add two components. The first component now the login button.jsx. And the second component now the logout button.jsx. So we could just make them to say logout button.jsx inside the login button make we go there make we start to build our login button so at zero don't really help us again to so do some kind of very helpful thing so the first thing we're going to need to do we're going to need use or zero right and as we don't import this use or zero hook what you want to say we want to create our component our login button component so we take cons login button and this component, we will just assign and we will use the path arrow uh, function to uh, define this component as a uh, functional component. Then we will say, for instance, here, what you want to do, we say we want to return something. So make we just return a simple um, button. Um, you just get the text, say login. And now when we get like this, oh, sorry, it's supposed to be implicit return. So I will put my place there and I will put my second place for here. Okay. So now this will help me return a button component with just the text where they say login for here. So we could just say for inside here, we want call 
our hook so this it comes and again just like before where we just use a no 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 we won't say use uh auto it they expose the login uh with redirect it also expose the login with pop-up meaning say you're going to get the pop-up whenever people click out and your page will just a load you know will redirect the user to the form and all those kind of things so it could just give us a pop-up form and the form we're going to work with that form all right we want an on click event so we'll say on click and uh, inside this on click event we could just call them as a function login with redirect and uh, then we could just call that function there so now when we get this um component like this so we get our log in button so if we know that for us to use this login button make we export them export default and then we could just set the login button all right so now this will help us set up our login button so maybe we um, add this login button into our component for inside the app component for the top you can say one import and we could just say waiting one import since we did use default we could say login button and then we could just do some kind of fixing to make sure say our app they look nice when we finish I want a div we could cover every other thing so make i just add a new div i will say div and this div here we could add any other thing when we need it so we could just say for here we could use and wrap everything so we say wrap here all right so now that error don't go so now when we get this parent div we're going to wrap everything when we need what you want to say we want to put some classes inside now all right so the classes when we need make we just cut and come up for here all the way to screens and then make we put the class for, for top here okay so all these tailwind classes and now we don't know what's in this big go watch the previous video and then you go know where we add all these classes from tailwind okay what you want to be say one add in now and now here where our buttons go they leave so for inside this now what you want to be say one check if is authenticated remember saying that javascript with the right so go say is authenticated and whenever the user they authenticated we won't do something so let me say we won't show like a logout button so i could just say logout for here like i just make them a p tag okay so we go fix them if the user they log in show a logout button otherwise if the user they logged out then show a login button so we will come show that our login button will be built before so i could just say okay login button and now when we don't call this component like this we suppose get whenever the user they logged out a log in button remember so when we press save for here we could go back into the project make i uh, close the dev tool and this is say we get this log in for here so make we style them a bit and make we style the button and position them where we're just like the um, previous version the finished version so we will come inside our vs code for inside our vs code what we want to do we say we won't go into the login button and for inside our login button what we want to do for here we say we want to start to add our tailwind classes so just for inside the button make we add a class or class name because now we act what they do and we could just start to add our tailwind classes so make we say we want a padding of py i'm going to set down to um to 1.5 and then make we set a, a pattern x that's px and set them to eight and then make we set the margin on the sides then our mx and then we can set that to five okay and then make we set an easing all right so because we want that kind of um animation and we can set the duration of this animation duration we can set them to about 300 for here and then make we set rounded so that we could get that rounded button but make we also set the um, rounded to medium okay i think that one will work then make we set the border and set the border to make we set the colors and make we set the border red to 400 also make we set the text that the text to red 400 now we don't know what they do no worry if you just always watch the previous video then you will understand what they do with these classes how did they show how we take set up tailwind on top of react so you um make we add a hover state for our button so we say hover and whenever we hover this button what you want to say one made the text make it day white so we'll set that there and as the text day white make we say hover again and this hover again what you want to be say one side the background so we'll say bg i'm gonna set the red again 
to 400. Okay, so we don't set all our classes, don't set our buttons, supposed to look fresh. So make we go into the app component and then make we add the classes we're going to need to make sure, say, our component they stay nice. So for inside this now element for here, what you want to do is say, we want to add the class names and the classes we want, maybe first set them to flex as far flex box. Then we'll say, we want to justify the content. I want to justify the content for the end. So we'll say, justify end. And this will push all the content to the end or to the right page and then make we just say make it the align um, vertically for the center so we'll say okay we want to do um, items center then we could just add some padding all over but we could just set that padding all around to five for here so so if we check our project again we go see say we get this nava way here where they push our button for here all right so if i click on it's supposed to carry us go or zero so it work this form now when they log in it's supposed to redirect them back to our app so we can make sure say that they work make i just use my github login and if you use anything when you want it could just need to authorize my app so now we don't use github before go fee understand what thing they happen for you and if you never use github or version control go watch the video where i make for now top version control and github you go feel understand everything we they do for you so click here accept and once you see, say we don't accept now, you see, say our code don't break. You see, say something don't happen. So we can try to fix that. And for inside our VS code, make we say we want to go back into the main components. So I'll just say main. And inside this main component, ah, you get what's in, I forget to add. So we suppose add one more props. And that props now say, now you go to help us, they handle the redirects whenever user don't they authorize. So we'll say we want the authorization params. That authorization, now you go authorize the user, and then when he pass that authorization, perhaps he go come go back to or redirect the user to a certain place. So which now our application we want set. So because now props we they use, so I say assign that to a props. If they take in an object, and this object we go come passing the redirect URL. So this redirect URL, now where we want to redirect the user to. So make we just say we want to redirect the user to windows.location.origin. And this will redirect the user back to the origin where they start today um, logging our form. So if I press save for here. So if you check here, we never log in, right? So make we click login. And just like that, because we don't already authorize our app, it just shows us the login button for here. I'm going to go back into our VS Code, sorry. And for inside the VS Code, if we close here, since we don't fix that issue. So the logout button, they very similar to the login button, right? So what you want to say for inside here, this login button, one copy everything, and then one come inside the logout button, and then we'll go paste them inside there. So now for inside here, make we rename this login as logout. And then make we change the text uh, for here to log out. So for here, which instead of calling login with redirect from auth zero, we could just say one change down to log out. All right. Remember, we change here and then we change the on click event. Say whenever person log out, now that time, we, uh, whenever person click this log out button, now that time we won't call this log out. Also, if we add some other properties to so make we add an object, and this is not optional, but you want to add the logout params. And the logout params, which we are not already familiar with to so the other param issue, it just be like this. They take in an object, and this object they say return to, and where we want to return to, and then you could just set the windows or window.location.origin. All right? So once you save it like this, this is supposed to work as a logout button. We're supposed to add that into our app. So we we'll go come here where we add our nav and then we we'll go replace this text with the here with our logout button. And I go just import them because I never import them. So if you check the top there, you go see say I don't import the code. Make we check. So if you check here, you go see say I get the login button and I get the logout button for here. So so make we check. I guess say we get this logout button. So what thing we supposed to do for here? We say we're supposed to add like a username so make i say one we'll just console log the user i could just say instead of authenticated i could say user for here and if we try check the user make we open up the browser 
enter inside the dev tool you can see say this they give us an object this um, user object and this they give us all the information when we need or when we go live from github of the user so if you get the picture if you get like a sub if you get where the date when it was updated if you even get the nickname and then i wait we go use for you if you get the name so make we go back into our uh, ps code close this what you want to say instead of console login just the user we won't go into the nav so clean that console log and for inside this nav make we add our javascript for here so for inside curly brace you can say you want user and you want to say only when user deal only when user deal what you want to be say you want to show the username so you can say paragraph you want to show that the user sorry user dot nickname so just like that we go feel add the nickname of the user whenever they log in to this our app like this so we press save maybe just put an add sign to show say i like nickname where we they use so we could check our apps to say it work and this is say we get this username for here so if i log out this username it no go show but if i log in now that time way this username for here it go show so make we go back into our app make we add some other things make we do some small um editing so that we could just make sure say everything they work the way we want to make it work so make we clean um this one that's the spacing or the gap for the elements and then what i want to do is say i want to carry this one and i want to put inside here and then so we want to say is authenticated or if the user is logged in so say is authenticated and then we want to say as the user they authenticated then we want to run certain code and code when we would like run for instance here if the user they authenticated we want to copy this code and put down here then copy this one and show this list we could just put that code for their soul so we want to say if this is not the case if the user they authenticated then it will do all this for here it will show us all this component go render this component otherwise else if the user know they authenticated at all rah, rah. now that i want maybe just drop make we drop like a heading so we'll say we want the heading component i remember this heading component what thing they do to say they're taking some props so we'll pass in the title props i'm gonna say this title props make we just say so now we do not like this you can see, say we they only render this component for here whenever the user they authenticated. But if the user know they authenticated, now that time go show us this button we did for here soon. All right, I hope so. It makes sense. So make we come here. Make we add. What now I want to be say I want to add some gap. So I could just say spacing. Make we just add some spacing. Why? Uh, make it set up to like five for here. All right. So if you don't like this, we are supposed to get that spacing in between. Make we try log out. So back for inside our application, we could click logger. Whenever user never log in, now that time we're going to show, say, please log in for here. But if you want to use this app, you're going to need to come the login. And of course, the login, when you log in, you will use this form. And if you use your Google, your GitHub, if you add Facebook, if you add Microsoft, any of them where you want, you go add. If you use your email and password, but I'm not going to do like that for here. I just want to show and say it is very easy to do. So if you click on, we feel they use our app so don't forget to subscribe like and share so if we click that subscribe like and share if you say make we refresh the page now you don't automatically authenticate our app and then you can't give us our app say oh we are authenticated and then you can't show us this now so we want a loading screen where we say whenever the user they authenticate we won't make it a load so we go come for here just on top all our components where we return for here we're going to say okay for inside here if it's loading remember the it's loading way or zero don't give us before then we won't do something all right so we want to say if it's loading we want to return since we get our heading components so we're going to say one heading we want our heading component and then we could just set our um title text so, so we can just say title and this title we could just set them to loading all right so now whenever our app they load we're going to get this loading screen now this loading text could they show for us all the time so we can test them to say they work so we'll go back into our app and for inside our app what i want to say i want to log out i can reduce my internet speed so you go come for inside here for inside the dev tool click network and then make can just throttle down 
make we change them to 3G for here. So anytime where we click this login button, the internet speed goes slow down um, because now test with the test now. And then it goes up show us the login screen. So make a click login. And you they see. So we get this loading screen before it go can show our app. So now if you make the loading screen anything where you want, if you add animation there, if you do anything where you want, all you're gonna need to do now just come back into your code and then you go feel add all the elements where you want for inside here. If you style them the way you want style them. So I hope say this video don't teach you now how now they take the add authentication into your React application very quick and very easy. If now they like this kind of video or if this video help you anyway, I better make a like that, make a subscribe, make a share the video even so that more people could see say we they do something like this on top of this our channel for years. So otherwise, I'll go soon now for the next video. So